Hi, welcome to 5 Minute Crafts with Ela Township 55 Plus. So today's craft is going to be glass magnets. And I'm going to go over all the materials that you got in your kit today first. So the first thing that you'll need for your glass magnets are these gems, the glass gems. There's all different sizes that you got in your kit today. And this is the, the main thing that you'll need for your um, magnets. They're good and sturdy. You can get them anywhere, um, craft stores, even the dollar store. They come in little packets. Maybe you've seen them in, in vases. You know, you can decorate the bottom of a vase or um, you can decorate things around your home with them. But today we're gonna use them to make magnets. So you need those. You'll need a brush. So you've got a brush in your kit. And in your kit, you got a little um, cup that looks like this. And in the cup is Mod, Mod Podge. And it's the sealant, the adhesive. And so this is the brand. You can get this, again, anywhere, Walmart, Target, uh, any craft store. But this is great. It, it goes on, you know, milky white, so you um, can see where it's going. But then it dries completely clear, which is what you need so that your um, fabric or picture shows through on um, your magnets. And the other part of your kit are the magnets. So you've got just as many magnets as you have glass gems. So those are all the pieces that are in your kit. And the other thing that you're going to need to do before you start is decide what you want to put on these gems. Um, you can use any kind of fabric you have, you can use ribbon, you can use pictures that you have, you can cut pictures out of a magazine. Um, I brought a magazine along to show you, you know, this is a nice glossy print that comes in magazines. So you really, you know, could pull anything out of, of a magazine and, and it shows through really nicely on um, these glass gems. It really magnifies what's ever behind it. They're kind of like little magnifying glasses. So um, I picked out a few things. I did pick a picture out of the magazine. So you want to make sure that whatever picture you've cut out so you can see I've got little uh, lighthouse here and you want to make sure that it fits the size of your gem. Each one's a little different so you got to make sure the sizing is right and then you can just place it over it and you're going to see how it magnifies that little lighthouse through the glass gem. So that's one option is to cut a picture out, use a picture that you have, your loved ones, you could make these as a set, you know, with all your family members on them and put them on your own refrigerator or send them as a little gift to your loved ones. I did pick out some fabric. Actually, this is just ribbon that's fabric. And um, again, it'll make nice little um, spring decorative magnets. And then I actually used the printer and printed out a little happy birthday. And that also too shows up really nicely through through the magnet. And right now it's hard to see with these little pieces of paper or fabric, but I'm gonna cut them down to size. And then you'll see um, the next few steps, how nicely they, they fit on your magnet and the design will show through really nice. So we can go ahead and get to work. I'm gonna start with my lighthouse one and place my glass gem on top of it to know how big I need to cut this. So again, you'll need a pair of scissors um, and you'll cut your picture around just so that it's as big as your glass gem. You may have to, you know, reposition or cut more than once. Don't cut too small. <laughs> You'll have to start, start over and find a new picture. 
but that looks pretty good. So you're going to take this Mod Podge that you have and your brush and you're going to use it um, very lightly and you are going to paint on the top of this picture or fabric or whatever you have chosen. Again, it's going to go on kind of a milky white um, and it might be like, oh no, I'm ruining this picture of this fabric or whatever. You're not going to ruin it, I promise. It's going to make a nice clear adhesive for the back of the glass gem. So you go ahead and paint the picture. Um, you can, you know, don't have to worry about like brush marks or one section looks, you know, like it didn't get enough or too much. Just generously paint it on. And because um, you really got to make sure it sticks well. So I'm going to show you this before I attach it. You know, it's got, well, it's crinkling all over, but you can see the glue Mod Podge is on there. And then you want to stick it down on your glass gem. Got a little on my fingers when I picked it up. And you really want to smooth it out and make sure that it goes all the way onto your glass gem and nothing's wrinkly in the back. And then, like you can see, uh, that the lighthouse might look a little milky or something not as clear, whatever you picked, obviously your pictures might not look as clear at first, but that's because it's wet and has to dry. So you can just push the glue around a little bit. You can see it move um, behind the glass and that's all right. Just don't play with it too much. Go ahead and let it dry. Um, I want to do a fabric one for you so you can see what that's like. Um, I'll pick this glass gem. Um, I tried to give everybody glass gems that didn't have these broken, fractured kind of look to them. So mine have a few of those. But um, that just adds a little character to them. Um, especially these fabric ones that you can hardly notice it at all. So the thicker the fabric, the more you don't have to worry about if you have an imperfect glass gem. I'm going to cut this one out. My size. And, you know, if you can hold it and cut it all at the same time, or more power to you. <laughs> it takes a little, a little bit more um, dexterity to do that. Got a little extra that I can cut off around it to get it just the size I want. Then you can, you know, reposition it and position it again to kind of get it how you want it to lay exactly and shine through or magnify that picture. So, all right, I'm all set. This is going to be a little sunflower. It's kind of hard to see um, from there, I'm sure. So again, I'm going to paint the right side up. So I'm going to paint right on top of my design. Get it nice, full of paint. So you want it to stick, stay on there really well. And then go ahead and position your glass gem right on top. Press down, and you'll notice when you press down, when you're actually looking onto your picture, your fabric, and the glass gem, you'll see that Mod Podge just spread evenly out and um, really adhere to everything. So, with this fabric, I notice it kind of comes through a little more more porous than those glossy pictures. So be careful that you're not getting it stuck down on your table, the surface that you're working on. You may want to go ahead and put um, some paper down or um, 
plastic so you're not going to ruin anything. And again, it, at this point it looks really white, milky behind there, but it'll um, dry really nice and clear and magnify behind it. In fact, um, this first one that I started, it started to dry really nicely and you can see how clear and um, magnified that little lighthouse is getting. So um, it's, it's coming together really nicely. Um, and if you get this Mod Podge or anything, it washes off with water, soap and water. So even if you get some, you know, you had some on your hands and you get it on these little uh, glass gems, no worries. You can go ahead and wipe it right off. Even after it's dry, you can um, try and wipe some of it off. But if you notice it right away, go ahead and get some water, some soapy water, just even clear water to, to get that off of there. And then it won't... Um, look smeary or um, smudgy on your on the top of your glass gem. And the last one again, I printed this little happy birthday off of our printer at work. So if you've got a printer or design that you want to have or make your own, make different holiday ones. Um, this one is a birthday one. So I'm gonna position exactly what, so I can get the happy birthday in there. And go ahead and cut that. I kind of cut some of my balloons out, so I probably could have um, shrank it a little bit more, but it's all right. It'll, it'll still look really nice when I get this. Okay, so that fits nice, looks really Again, when it, when it dries and gets good and clear and magnifies it, it'll, it'll come out even better. So, go ahead and paint my last one. I just wanted to give you some examples of different materials that you can use at home. And then place your glass gem on. Pick it up, smooth it out. And then let it dry and that's what you need to do you let need to let them dry let them dry for half an hour they gotta get good and dry if they still feel like they're not dry let them dry some some more and then um, when we get back together you're gonna see how to put the magnet on um, and how they're turning out and looking when they're dry and they'll be ready to use so um, check back with me in a few minutes and we'll put the magnets on. Hi everybody, we're back. Everything is nice and dry now. And just really clear through the crystal glass gems. So again, this is the lighthouse. You can see. And the happy birthday one's nice and clear now too. I was worried a little bit. There was a part that was looking like it was um, not drying properly but it did it dried all the way clear all the way through and again I did this one with the fabric and um, I've noticed the gem itself again I gave you guys the nice clear one so you won't have this issue but the gem itself has a lot of fracture through it and even on the top it's got some weird scuffs so it's not as clear but it's still um, it'll be pretty cool up on uh, the refrigerator and then I thought uh, I quick did another one. I did letters because you could, you know, spell out names or other um, sayings and make these and give these out as gifts or for your own um, refrigerator. So the last piece, you know, you've got your directions in your kit. The last part after they are completely dry is to adhere this magnet. Same step as before with the picture. You're going to go ahead and take the Mod Podge and it doesn't matter, both sides are magnetic. So you just go ahead and put a good quantity right on this magnet and then you press it into the center of your finished glass gem and then you want to let that sit can see there's glue coming out but again it's going to dry completely clear 
So I'm gonna finish the rest of these up and I'll take a final shot and you'll get to see them when they're all finished and on the refrigerator. All right, we're back. The magnets are done. Um, I put them on the door here at work because it's a metal door, so the magnets stick on there great. Um, so I wanted to show them up close a little bit so you can see the finished product. So the letter, the happy birthday. I think definitely my favorite is the lighthouse. And then the fabric um, ribbon one. And so they work perfectly. Now you can put them up on anything that uh, a magnet will magnetize to, stick to. So you can put your notes up on your refrigerator from your family, pictures from your grandkids. However, you've got little notes around, so we've got one for you. We miss you. Thanks for participating in this craft. There'll be more to come. Don't forget to sign up for the next one. It's May 27th, and they're glow jars. So you can email me at laurak at elatownship.org or give me a call, 847-438-9160. And we hope you're enjoying the crafts. And we look forward to doing the next craft with you, glow jars. Those will be pretty cool. See you then.